visions as I go to anywhere I flow. Sometimes I believe at times I wish you know I can fly high. Hello everyone, I am D Slots and this is James Still. And today we're going to talk about animals. Can there be as or even more intelligent than humans? And most importantly, do they communicate? Well, many of animals produce different sounds, and those sounds are sort of their language. But for example, a cat cannot learn to speak a language uh, such as birds because their vocal cords cannot produce sounds like that. But humans can learn other languages unlike animals, and humans can also forget uh, phrases or words from even their own language unlike animals. But the question is, do animals have a general language of their own? Like rabbits communicate in one way and sheep communicate in another. But do the rabbits understand what the sheep are gossiping about? Well, at least some of the animals can. Like cats can respond from a uh, well, at least some of the animals can. Like, cats can respond from a phrase from canines, and it all has to do with body language. Like, animals have different ways of telling uh, others what they are feeling, just like humans. They have facial expressions, they have poses, and for example, uh, if a dog wags its tail, it means they're happy. And, uh, and if a cat does that, it says that it's it annoyed or startled. So one pose or a body language sign <laughs> that is that means something positive to one animal means something negative to another. While we're on the topic of cats and dogs, why do they act the way they do? Is it psychological, neurological, physiological, or are they just born with it? I mean, is it, is it something that they decide to do? Jeez, that's so many questions. One more and my brain will explode. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Probably not. So, it's neither physiological, no, neurological, psychological. They're not born with it, and neither is it something that they can decide. Then why must the violence go on? Will somebody think of the children? Well, the thing is, in their personalities and training. So, we know that dogs are more playful and cats are more calm. So, when dogs and cats play together, the hyperactive dog will jump around and the startled cat will, will run around in circles. And it just seems that they're enemies because they're both screaming and running around. But that's only in domesticated dogs and cats because in the wild, they're both programmed to run after small prey. And for a dog, a cat is small prey. But cats hunt too, but like smaller prey like mice, fish, or any birds. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something about animals from it. Comment down below what your favorite animal is.